Hey, so here we have this is a new Dell Optiplex 960, uh, one of the new computers. I'll be walking through on how to take it apart and uh, the parts and components inside this machine. At the front here, we have the DVD and the CD ROM burner. Uh, we have two USB ports, sound for your headphones, and the micro uh, microphone port. Uh, to open the case, there's a tab up here. It's kind of a little rut. We just push this out, and the cover here will pop straight out. So if there's a monitor on here, uh, please take it off, and it will just slide open the cover. Inside the computer, uh, there's a lot of main components here. Uh, first, we have the video card, and we have two memory sticks and two spare memory slots. If you can get the camera over there. There we go, right here. And we have the power supply. And the CD slash DVD burner and the hard drive that's under that. So we're just gonna take a quick look here uh, under the DVD ROM drive. Uh, connected to it are two cables here. One's the power cable and the other is the SATA cable. These are keyed in at a 90 degree angle. So they won't all necessarily fit in, so you just need to carefully, as to not break anything, kind of slowly nudge it out. There we go. So as you can see, there's a 90 degree angle, and they'll only go in one way, so if you plug it in um, at a different angle, it just won't fit in. And I'll just slowly pull this one out here. You can see these little tabs here um, that will aid you in that process. So there we go. This just makes it easier to take the DVD-ROM drive out of the computer. So here we, on the left hand side we'll see a tab here. Uh, what we need to do is just pull on this. This releases the lock so we can push the DVD out and remove it from the computer as you can just see right now. So we'll just push this out and we'll slowly lift this straight up. And underneath it it's a small hard drive encased in a blue type of um, casing, blue casing hard drive case. So to take this out, it's a little bit tricky. There's two tabs right here. You can get the cameras on that. Uh, you need to push these two tabs inwards. So I'll just use my two index fingers here and I'll just slowly push this backwards. So now you can see that it's pretty loose, and this only goes up one way, so you'll need to tilt this side up, like so, and pull this out. Now keep in mind that uh, this is quite fragile, so um, make sure you're not you know, wearing any cotton sleeves or anything like that, just to um, do static electricity, because these parts do uh, react to electricity and they will break. So here we have it. Uh, that's a small little hard drive and again with the power connectors and the SATA cables connected to it. Um, to put this back in, we would just put it back the way that we got it. We'll just slide it in downwards one way. Uh, again, make note of the tabs here that they need to um, go in at this specific angle. And we'll just slide this back in. As you can see, there's another tab down here. All right, so we'll just push this back in. It might be a little bit difficult. Uh, there we go, we'll just hear that snap. So it's in snug, securely, uh, nothing you know, major, or nothing broke, which is good. And now we have the DVD-ROM drive. Uh, again, same thing, you just pop it straight down. But to make it a little bit easier on us first, uh, we'll just connect the connectors on the power and data cables. So again, I mentioned earlier that these are keyed for a 90 degree angle. So again, you can see right here, um, the connectors are keyed in for that specific uh, angle. angle. So now I'll just slot these back in. Again, this will make it easier for me to put the DVD-ROM drive back in, um, then connecting the cables later. So there we go, it's in flush. And again, I'll just pop this straight down. And you'll see that this screw right here will fit in directly right there into that little hole. So I'll just push this forward. This might be a little bit tricky. 
what you need to lift up this little tab here. Uh, this will help slide the DVD-ROM drive back in. You won't hear the click, of course, because that lock is up. So once you slide it in, you'll see that it's in securely. Um, that's the basic walkthrough of the Dell Optiplex. And all we need to do is just put in back the cover. You'll see that uh, there are these little fangs here uh, corresponding to each one of these, these holes down here. So we'll just slide that in. And push down and you'll hear the click and we're finished.